in this video we're going to go and take a look at the High Line Walk, a disused railway line, a suburban railway line. And there we are, there's the bridges. The line used to continue further, there's the other bridge, and it used to continue up the street straight through there. But we're going up this way. Now it's an urbanised pedestrian walk through the skylines. And to my left is the Hudson, just down there. To my right is back up to Times Square. It was being rejuvenated with new buildings being constructed along the line. And this was the junction where the line used to continue straight up there. And also in that direction from where we've just walked. Now let's continue on the line. And here's one of the old rails from the High Line. Uh, you can't see it very well, but this is one of the lines which you can just make out through the fence in which used to carry the trains. And here's another section of the remaining track. I have been asking how to get to Sesame Street. Um, no one seems to know but I haven't had a look on Google. Sesame Street was actually filmed in Queens. And here's more of the existing railway track, which I'm walking on now. <laughs> Here we are at Hudson. And if you have a look down there, these are the Long Island Railroad Car Yard. I'll get you some more images, it's absolutely huge. With 10 or 15, 20 lines of storage, you can see them glinting in the sunshine. Here's some more images from the top of the High Line. This is some of the history of the High Line. Please feel free to press pause at any second so you can read the text. It's from 1840 of one of the High Line cars with a horseback rider riding in front of it. And here's an image of a freight train, 8350, on the High Line. And here's another image here of the High Line abandoned, in disuse and overgrown. Let's carry on in this direction. And we've got a switch here just in front of us.
so the other side of the Hudson is New Jersey. And if we have a look at the construction of the High Line, you can see the plate still and the rivets that held the whole thing together. And here's another view of the yard with the aluminum cars parked up. And just there you can see some double-decker passenger trains. And there we are, that's the end of the line. What remains? Just here. There's a couple of uh, railway fish plates there, which used to connect the track. We just walked a small section of the High Line, only around a quarter of a mile, and with the end straight in front of us over there. And we've just got on roughly about there and walked along here and now we're up here. I'm only guessing, but from this image it would appear it was a dual gauge track. This is the final view of the High Line down at street level. And that concludes my Highline video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share. Thank you very much. Bye bye from New York.